crunchy. Cereal. Okay, I'll make you cereal. You can't have everything. Those are chips. I want this. I want this. Here is my breakfast. I toasted some bread. It doesn't look toasted on this side, but it's toasted on the inside. <laughs> toasted some bread, put some crunchy peanut butter, and some bananas. And then I also made me some apple cinnamon oatmeal because this is just my favorite oatmeal. And instead of water, I decided to warm it up with almond milk. It looks so good. She's eating some applesauce and some Mickey Mouse chips right there. Water. She already had raspberries and a banana and some strawberries. Paulelle just made poopy in the toilet. Good job. High five. Good job. You're a doctor. Good job on making doo doo in the toilet. First, she's like, oh, I have to pee pee, and she just went pee pee. So I was like, okay, that's weird, you just went. Then I took her in, and she didn't pee right away. That's when I knew, okay, she probably has to make doo doo, because I just was thinking last night, when is she gonna make doo doo? Sorry, it was too bright. But yeah, last night I was thinking, when is she gonna make doo doo? Because she didn't make it for a while. Yeah, maybe like a couple days ago or something. I just let her sit there for a while, and then I was like, okay, do you need to make doo doo? She's like, doo doo. <laughs> and then I decided to go grab her iPad because that kind of helps her stay on the toilet a little longer to help push everything out. So I put her iPad on like the toilet wrap or toilet holder. And then once I put it down, she goes, go away. <laughs> she told me to go away. And then she called me earlier to do something because something with the iPad, like something popped up. So I pressed it to go away so she can watch. And then once I did that, she's like, go away. But yeah, and then she was done, and then she tried to wipe her own butt. She did pretty good. I gave her some wipes to do that. And yeah, it was pretty good. I'm just really proud because I think the last couple times... <laughs> Cutie. I'm just really proud because the last couple times she made doo-doo, it was actually in her panty. And I kept like yelling at her like, you need to go doo-doo in the toilet. Yeah, you made doo-doo in the toilet. Good job. Doo-doo. Doo-doo in the toilet. Like the last couple times, she just wasn't like going to the toilet. She was trying to hide away and she was doing it in her panty. But today she decided she was gonna go on the toilet. So that's a really big step forward. Also on this day today, oh, I didn't even say hello. So aloha my kako. Today is po'akolu, which is Wednesday. And I just got finished uploading Paulella's birthday vlog. I was gonna go for a walk because like I said, I'm starting to go back to my walking schedule where it's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I go on a walk, take Paulella out of the house, and we walk around our neighborhood so I can get my exercise on, you know? But uh, it's like really cloudy and windy and it looks like it could rain and I don't want to take her out because she just got over her cold and I don't want her to get wet and get sick. Also, I have so much to do. I gotta bake a lot for this bakery. So much, so, 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 so much. And then I have to leave a little earlier than I usually do to pick up the kids because I need to drive backwards to pick up my father, pick up the kids, and then I gotta take him to town because he needs to go to do an errand. He needs to do like prompt promptly yeah, he just doesn't have his car right now because just like Darren's breaking down and that stuff and also Darren but got his car fixed yesterday a guy came over like one of his friends friends came over and fixed his car and he called me this morning he said that it did kind of break down a little on his way but they were able to fix it and then he got to work so thank God he got to work safely because this whole car situation is just crazy I don't know if I'm gonna film for the rest of the day because like I said, these are my stay at home baking days. I might show you guys what I bake, but I'm not really gonna do any characters today because the bakery I bake for, I don't really bake characters like on a daily for her. It's just the regular muffins. 
so yeah also i guess i don't know i guess i can kind of like tell you guys what my thoughts are right now on getting a job or job wise whatever so if you guys don't know i own a little small business like a very small business like only instagram kind of through text an emo kind of business where I bake macarons now I was like one of the first people in Hilo on this island to sell macarons like one of the first and I am the most I want to say popular only because I have the most followers out of all of these other macaron bakers and from what I know I'm like the first that sold on like Instagram now there is like three or four people that I know on this island now that's in Hilo that make macarons and they promote their stuff on Instagram and they you know do mainly like communication like me through Instagram now that it's like two years later like I did it when Paul Lele was almost one I think or about one it's about like two almost three years later I've been doing this and it slowed down a whole lot in the beginning it was so good I don't know maybe I should maybe I'll do like a more in detail pros and cons or like my experience as a small business owner I did go get a business license it was mainly for Disneyland it's crazy as it sounds it's, it was mainly for my kids I started baking for my kids and I started to have this passion of like if I make macarons and sell them I'm able to save and we're able to go to Disneyland and that's what we did we actually went to Disneyland <laughs> I don't know my career mine has shifted it's only because since there is a lot more competition now I'm not really <laughs> like rambling on for like six minutes basically what I wanted to get out was since I am slowed down so much I don't sell out as much as often as I did in the beginning especially with all this new competition I am going to not really bake that much and it's a lot of pros for me not to bake anymore be or bake as much because I spend the whole day baking you guys know like I say in the vlog what time I go to sleep I go to sleep every morning like 3 o'clock or 4 or 5 and I have to wake up at 6 every day to take my kids to school so I'm literally getting 2-3 to three hours of sleep at night it's really crazy and everything revolves around my business where I don't even have a free day like I stay at home all day, I bake all day, I fill all the way up to the early morning, I sleep for a couple of hours, then I wake up and I sell them, and then I spend, I, like <laughs> I spend half the day selling them, and then I also go to the store, buy more ingredients, then I come home, try to get some rest, try to clean the house with whatever energy I have, and then I have to pick up my kids, come home, cook dinner, everything, and my house is just constantly a mess because I don't have the time to do anything and then on the days when the kids are like off or whatever I choose to work because I need to make money and hustle whatever especially when we go to Disney and stuff like that so it just takes a whole lot like where I can't enjoy my life and go I want to go out on adventures and go hiking and go to the beach and be able to just take my kids whenever I want to the beach or take Paul Dele if it's just me and her during the day when the kids are in school and I'm not confined into my house and I'm not confined into like delivering and doing meetups and all that stuff so when we come back from this trip I'm definitely going to be taking a break from my macaron business I'm gonna be doing some here and there because I still have orders that are booked in advance like you know for like December and even like November and all that stuff so I will continue to do it and bake possibly for the bakery I'm just gonna sell her the shells and also I'm just not gonna bake as much that way I have a lot more free time be a mom spend time with Paul Lele get her to school clean my house like I just wanted to share you guys what my plans are I want to get a regular job as weird as that sound I just want a normal a normal job but obviously she's in school yeah just want to share my thoughts and just kind of like give you an update on my life my working life and all, oh. all right i'm gonna go bye show us your hair Hi. look at the baby. Had a feeling. Hi. it's Hi. weird Helena's well, hair is hi. not oh hi hi, hi. it's not even hi. i turn on the light hi. Hi. if you look try to move your hand <laughs> so it looks like that. It's so weird. Oh my goodness. 
Oh. I'm sorry. You know what's weird too? Like down all over here in the front is long, but the back is shorter. Did we ask for layers? Did we ask for layers? Mama. It's just like, look at this. What kind of? No, because this is always like this. So put it in the back though. Even though the back is so, it's gotta get the back done. Wow. Like, I think I could do better than that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, especially right here. Oh my gosh, yeah, like look at this. Guys, he got, the lady cut his head. Look at, she okay, cut his head. I gotta head. focus it, hold on. Okay, and then for Puloku, she left a, she wants me to film her. They left a scab, they actually cut into his skin when they did like a hard line. When they did a side comb style, she asked like hard line, and they literally gave him a scab. And your face is like, <laughs> Okay, yeah, here's Paulele. The lady was like, she was cutting each piece and she put it up and then she brought some down and then she... Okay, so I didn't know that about Paulana's hair, but I, I did find out about Poloku's like little cut the next day. And that was, I believe, on Saturday. And today it is Wednesday. So tomorrow I'm going to take them back and I'm going to ask for a refund. And I'm going to just show them that she cut his head and that Paulana's haircut is really crooked. It's just so weird because... I took a picture of them and it looked fine, but for some reason it just looks so messed up. So I'm gonna take them back. Maybe they're gonna redo everything. I don't know if I'm gonna let them. And how are they gonna redo my hair? Are they gonna do? And maybe they'll just yeah, they can't do anything about Poloku, but they'll probably redo Polana's hair. But I'm gonna ask for a refund because that's messed up. The red